When we think of the pyramids, we often imagine mysterious secrets, lost technologies, or even help from otherworldly visitors. But the real secret to building these colossal monuments wasn't magic or myth. It was something far more down to earth. Water. This humble element, so often overlooked, was the true force that made the impossible possible in ancient Egypt. Water was more than just a resource for drinking or farming. For the Egyptians, it was a tool, a highway, and an engine that powered their civilization. It shaped their daily lives, their economy, and most impressively, their greatest architectural achievements. The ancient Egyptians mastered the art of controlling water. Through ingenious irrigation systems, they tamed the unpredictable Nile, turning arid desert into fertile land. Their ability to manage water with such precision and creativity still amazes us today, thousands of years later. The Great Pyramid of Giza, rising from the sands, is more than just a monument to kings. It stands as a testament to human ambition, vision, and the relentless pursuit of progress. Every stone, every angle, every shadow cast by the sun tells a story of ingenuity and determination. While thousands of workers toiled under the blazing Egyptian sun, water was their silent collaborator. It eased the movement of massive stones, softened the sand, and made the unimaginable task of pyramid construction just a little more possible. The Nile River was not just a life-giving water source, it was the superhighway of the ancient world. Boats glided along its currents, carrying heavy stones and supplies from distant quarries to the very heart of the pyramid construction sites. The Egyptians didn't just rely on the river's natural course. They engineered a network of canals, bringing the Nile's power directly to their building sites. These man-made waterways were marvels of planning and labor, designed to make the impossible possible. This story isn't just about brute strength or endless manpower. It's about the brilliance of Egyptian engineers and workers who use their minds as much as their muscles. Their clever solutions shifted our focus from sheer force to the power of ingenuity. By wetting the sand, they reduced friction, making it easier to drag enormous stones across the desert. They transformed their harsh environment into an ally, using every resource at their disposal to shape their destiny in stone. The construction of the pyramids was a story of teamwork, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of greatness. It was a collective effort, where every hand, every mind, and every drop of water played a crucial role. In the end, water was the profound power behind their monumental achievement, a silent partner in one of humanity's greatest stories, forever flowing through the legacy of the pyramids. To truly grasp the wonder of the pyramids, you first have to understand the Nile. This river was not just a body of water, it was the very foundation of Egyptian civilization, the thread that wove together every aspect of life in ancient Egypt. The Nile was the heart of Egypt, a god in liquid form, worshipped and revered for its life-giving powers. Its waters cut through the harsh, unforgiving desert, creating a narrow ribbon of green in a sea of sand. Without the Nile, Egypt would have been nothing but barren wasteland. Without the Nile, there would be no civilization, no pyramids, no pharaohs, and no stories to tell. The river was the only reason people could settle here, and it shaped every part of their world. Each year, the Nile would flood its banks, spilling rich, dark silt onto the fields. This natural miracle transformed the land, making it incredibly fertile. Farmers could grow wheat, barley, and vegetables in abundance. This agricultural surplus was the engine that powered Egypt's rise. It freed people from the constant struggle for survival, allowing them to specialize as stonemasons, engineers, artists, and laborers. The food grown along the Nile fed the workers who built the pyramids and supported the priests, scribes, and rulers who planned them. During the flood season, when fields were underwater and farming paused, the workforce was redirected to the pharaoh's grand projects. The Nile became a highway for ambition, carrying not just crops but also people, tools, and massive stone blocks. It was Egypt's main street, a bustling artery of commerce and communication, where goods, people, and ideas flowed freely from one end of the kingdom to the other. Boats glided up and down the river, connecting distant quarries to the construction sites. Without the Nile, moving the enormous stones needed for the pyramids would have been impossible. The river made the logistics of pyramid building not just feasible but efficient. It was the invisible force behind every block that rose into the sky. The Nile was also a superhighway for trade. Merchants traveled its length, exchanging gold, papyrus, grain, and exotic goods from faraway lands. This constant movement of people and products helped Egypt become one of the wealthiest and most influential civilizations of the ancient world. The river tied the entire operation together, 
The Egyptians knew the Nile's rhythms and potential better than anyone. They built their calendar around its floods, planned their lives by its cycles, and trusted it to sustain them year after year. The Nile provided food, transportation, and the lifeblood of their society. It was the backdrop for daily life, fishing, farming, trading, and celebrating. The story of the pyramids is inseparable from the story of the Nile, because every stone, every worker, and every idea that built those monuments depended on the river's gifts. The pyramids and the Nile are two parts of the same grand Egyptian tale. The river was the lifeblood of their greatest architectural achievement, the silent partner in every triumph. For the ancient Egyptians, the Nile was everything, a source of life, a path to eternity, and the reason their civilization could dream so big. Imagine the immense challenge of dragging a two-and-a-half-ton stone across the hot, shifting sands of ancient Egypt. The sun beats down, the sand offers little grip, and every inch forward is a struggle. This was the reality for the workers tasked with moving the massive stones needed for Egypt's grand monuments. It took teams of people, ropes, and sheer determination to inch these blocks forward, day after day, across unforgiving terrain. Now, picture a different scene. Instead of dragging, the workers carefully place these enormous stones onto sturdy wooden boats. With a gentle push, the river takes over, and the burden of weight is lifted by the water's buoyancy. Suddenly, what once seemed impossible becomes manageable, as the Nile's current does the heavy lifting. The Egyptians were masters at using water to conquer both weight and distance. By harnessing the power of the Nile, they could move materials that would have been impossible to transport over land. The river became their highway, connecting distant quarries to construction sites. But they didn't stop there. To reach even farther, they engineered a vast network of canals branching out from the Nile. These man-made waterways extended the river's reach deep into the desert, bringing life and movement to otherwise isolated places. These canals transformed remote desert sites into bustling ports, alive with the activity of workers, boats, and cargo. The once silent sands echoed with the sounds of commerce and construction. Massive stones were loaded onto specially designed wooden barges, their hulls reinforced to bear the incredible weight. Workers secured the cargo, ensuring it would survive the journey downriver. Skilled crews then took charge, steering these floating giants along the Nile's winding path. They navigated currents, avoided sandbanks, and worked together to keep the precious cargo safe. The entire operation was a marvel of logistics and timing. Every barge, every crew, every load had to be perfectly coordinated to keep the flow of materials steady and efficient. Timing was everything. The Egyptians planned their activities around the annual flooding of the Nile, when water levels were highest and navigation was easiest. This natural cycle became the heartbeat of their transportation system. By turning a natural event, the Nile's flood, into a powerful transportation system, the Egyptians demonstrated incredible ingenuity. They didn't just adapt to their environment, they made it work for them. The river became their delivery service, bringing essential materials right to the doorstep of their construction sites. This allowed them to build on a scale the world had never seen before. The Egyptians were not just builders. They were brilliant hydraulic engineers. Their understanding of water management, canal construction, and logistics was centuries ahead of its time. By reshaping their landscape, they reshaped their destiny, turning the harsh desert into a land of opportunity and the Nile into the lifeblood of a civilization. Getting stones to the pyramid base was one thing, Raising them up the structure was another challenge. The Egyptians used water-filled locks, or sluices, as hydraulic lifts. A barge carrying a stone would be floated into a chamber. Water poured in, lifting the barge effortlessly. This process repeated, raising stones higher up the pyramid. The system used buoyancy, not muscle, to lift stones. It was more efficient than dragging stones up a ramp. The water channel system was temporary and reusable. The Egyptians built a sophisticated water machine to construct the pyramid. They used water to achieve extraordinary results. How did Egyptians get water to higher pyramid levels? The answer, the shadouf, a simple yet ingenious invention. A long pole with a bucket and counterweight lifted water. A chain of shadoufs created a human-powered water pump. Workers lifted water a few feet at a time. This system provided a constant water supply. Water was used for sluices, lubrication, and mortar. The shadouf powered the entire water-based construction method. It connected the river to the work happening above. The Great Pyramid is mind-bogglingly enormous. Constructed from 2.3 million stone blocks, it stands 146 meters tall. 
Building it challenged even modern technology. The construction took about 20 to 27 years. Workers placed one block every five minutes. Water transport, canals, and sluices made this timeline possible. The workforce was skilled, well-fed, and organized. They lived in a purpose-built city near the pyramids. This was a national project, a source of pride and duty. The pyramid is a testament to a society working together. It required immense resources and organization. The pyramid is not just stones. It's a testament to a monumental goal. The pyramid story is a human story of teamwork. Architects and engineers designed the structure and water systems. Quarrymen cut giant blocks with precision. Sailors navigated barges along the Nile. Laborers worked in organized teams on the Giza Plateau. Each person had a role, relying on each other completely. This cooperation speaks volumes about Egyptian society. It shows a culture that organized for a multi-generational project. The pyramid is a product of collective effort. It stands as proof of what humans can achieve together. The pyramid is a monument to unity and shared vision. The Great Pyramid still stands, a testament to human potential. The Egyptians' mastery of water shows a different kind of advancement. They used resources smartly, turning challenges into solutions. The pyramid was a declaration of power and organization. It was a triumph of project management and engineering. The skills developed propelled their society forward. The pyramid is more than a tomb. It's a monument to water. It tells a story of cleverness, teamwork, and respect for nature. The pyramid is a testament to humanity's ability to touch the stars. It is a wonder of the world, powered by a simple drop of water.